Hello and welcome to Critical Hit Wargaming. Today we're going to be speed painting some Soul Blight Grave Lords dead walker zombies and we're going to learn to do it in about 15 minutes per model if you're like me and your revenant legion box has just arrived you've got 40 of these to get through so we'll do as quick as we can whilst making them look as good as we can now here are 10 of my dead walker zombies you get 40 in the box but they can only be built in one of 10 different ways really with a few different options for interchangeable heads and weapons but the bodies are pretty much the same so what we're going to do now is learn to paint all of them because some of you might not be confident and might want a, a guide on how to paint every single one we're going to go with three different shades of flesh we're going to use gulliman flesh as a base for one plague bearer flesh as a base for another and wildwood for the base of another and the way we're going to do this is by mixing them with some contrast medium so here I'm going to use contrast medium and Gulliman flesh first start by sticking a load of contrast medium on a palette you want to go for roughly three contrast medium to one of your actual color because we want it to look really pale and washed out that's the look we're going for so if you put it on your model and it comes out really stark uh, you've probably got too much actual contrast paint in the medium. If that is the case, then obviously you can just go back and mix some more and start again and it's not a problem. So you're going to need to grab your model and what we're going to do is put our new mixed flesh paint on all of the skin areas of our chosen models. It's best to divide your 10 models into three groups, three or four different groups, and paint them all with different skin tones. However, if when going through this guide it turns out that you like one type of flesh colour more than others, then you can just paint all of them using that, but I thought I'd give you a, uh, a variety to use here. Cover all those flesh areas, grab the next model and do exactly the same thing. Next you're going to switch to Plague Bearer Flesh and this one you're going to use straight out the pot. It's worth noting at this point if you do have the Revenant Legion box or you do have a load of skeletons lying around that you haven't worked out how to paint yet, there will be a link on the screen to a guide on how to paint all of your Death Rattle skeletons. Next, just as we did with Gullum and Flesh, we're going to use Wildwood and Contrast Medium mixed together at a ratio of about 3 Contrast Medium to 1 Wildwood. However, if you would like a darker skin tone, then mix them more 1 to 1. For this model, I've done just that and made a darker skin tone so you can see how it comes out. And for the remainder, I'll make a paler one by adding more Contrast Medium. And so here's what it looks like if you use the paler mix that I was talking about by adding a little bit more contrast medium. It was also whilst painting this particular zombie that I was like, I really recognise this woman from somewhere as a zombie. And then I thought, this looks just like the one from Shaun of the Dead in a weird way. Oh my god. Now, if you have not seen that film, please watch it. It is absolutely hilarious. But in the meantime, carry on painting all the flesh on your remaining zombies. Next, we're going to switch to Pallid Witch Flesh, and we're going to use that to dry brush all of the flesh on the models we've done so far, and that's going to return it to a kind of, well, a pallid skin colour, really. And it's going to make our zombies look a bit more human again, as opposed to pox walkers. Thank you. 
Next we're going to switch back to Wildwood and this time we're going to use it straight out of the part to paint in all of the wood details and all the models. So that's the handles to their old knackered weapons, that's all of the roots that are coming out of their skin and anything else that you think looks a bit wooden. Now with all of the wood detailing coming to an end, we've got to work out how to paint the rest of the model. And to do that, we're going to paint all of the clothing in a range of colours. So we're going to use Castellan Green, some Screamer Pink, some Zandri Dust, some Steel Legion Drab, some Mournfang Brown, some Rhinox Hide, and some Storm Vermin Fur. And between all of those, we're going to start painting in some of the details. So here I'm going to use Storm Vermin Fur. I'm just going to pick a model and then pick which part of it I'm going to use Storm Vermin Fur on. In this case, I'm going to paint his trousers. Now, although I've given you a list of colours you can use here, you really can use pretty much any paint in your collection. Any theme you want to give these guys, if they're from a particular village and you want them all to wear a certain colour, you can absolutely do that. However, just remember that these guys are all civilians for the most part, so they're going to have a, a more rain, wide range of clothes than you would find if they were all military, for example. Whichever ones you pick though, make sure that the colours aren't too bright and vibrant where possible because they've been buried in the floor for quite a long time. Now if you have decided to match the colours that I've used in this tutorial, then make sure that you go around and give them a couple of coats because Painting over white, some of these colours will be a little bit washed out at first. Then simply go around the rest of your zombies, colouring in the clothes with whatever colour you see fit. If you want some inspiration, then feel free to watch along to the video and you can work out where certain colours should go. And so with them all done, let's take a look at them. We've got one here with Mournfang Brown and Zandri Dust. We've got another here with Steel Legion Drab Hair, Zandri Dust Top Half and Castellan Green for a skirt. Here I've used Steel Legion Drab and some Rhinox Hide and then a bit of Screamer Pink on a tongue. For this one, I've used Steel Legion Drab Trousers with Rhinox Hide Belt and Rhinox Hide Shoes. Here I've used some Screamer Pink on the guts and Rhinox Hide on the trousers. And then here I've gone for some washed out Zandri Dust on the trousers, but a Rhinox Hide on the belt. Here some Storm Vermin Fur for the skirt and then some Rhinox Hide for the corset. And then some more Mournfang Brown for the trousers and some Rhinox Hide for the boot and then a bit of pink for the brain. For the Lost Zombie Girl I've done a Screamer Pink dress and some Zandri Dust for her hair. And then for the Farmer I've done some Storm Vermin Fur for his trousers and some Castellan Green. Next switch to some Lead Belcher and we're going to paint in all of the metal details on all of the models that are carrying weapons. Next switch to Agrax Earthshade and we're going to shade all of the models. We're going to give them quite a liberal helping of wash all over them. That's going to unite all of the colours and make it look like they come from the same place, which is the floor.
Once that's dry, grab some Reichland Flesh Shader. We're going to use that for one job, which is to go over the metallic areas. And once it's dry, it's going to make it look like they are rusting. And so here was what they're going to look like with that wash dried. They're looking much, much better, looking really zombie-like now. But there's still one final stage, and that is to use some blood for the blood god. Although Games Workshop have tried to make their zombies a little bit more kid-friendly, they wouldn't be zombies unless they were covered in gore and viscera. Because we want our zombies to be successful zombies after all. And to be a successful zombie, you need to actually kill something and eat it. So that's what we're going to do now. The areas you want to focus on with your blood are any exposed innards around the hands and then of course around the mouth from where they've been eating. And with that last stage done, your dead walker zombies are finished. Now as always, this is a speed painting guide on how to get them done as quickly as possible, but also we want to make it look like you've not spent two minutes painting them so we've given them a variety of skin colors of shades in order to make it look like some of them have been dead for longer than others and it basically makes the unit look a lot better than just painting them all one color as I'm sure you will agree hopefully this has been helpful for you if it has like subscribe leave a comment for anything else you'd like to see and I will endeavor to get it done for you thanks very much for watching